Hey guys, uh, it's your Fact Friday for um, Friday, July 6th. I wanted to talk to you today about heart rate variability. Heart rate variability, HRV, is the time between your heart rates. And it's actually good to have a high heart rate variability, meaning it varies quite a lot. Um, when you have a low one, it's not good. It is actually associated with detrimental effects to health. So things that improve your HRV, exercise, meditation, relaxation, so yoga, tai chi, um, a ketogenic diet, so a high fat, uh, low carb diet, good night's sleep, as well as avoiding processed foods. Things that are um, that reduce HRV are a poor night's sleep, uh, being sedentary, not moving, eating a poor diet, alcohol, um, stress, really, really big one there is stress. So depending on if it's lifestyle stress or other things. And what we wanna have is we want a high HRV um, to be healthy. <clears throat> so um, what we wanna do is we wanna chat about the fact that it allows you, if you have an HRV um, that is high, it allows you to react well. So it means you can absorb and um, respond to stress or exercise or different things. When it's low, you have like a low threshold, if you think about it that way, to respond to things. So we all know when we're really stressed and we haven't been exercising, we haven't been taking care of ourselves and we just like one more little thing will put us over the edge and we can't handle it. So that is often when our heart rate variability is low. And if you track your heart rate variability, which you can do with rings and apps, I use the Aura Ring here, which I'll put a link in the um, notes, uh, and that will give you a uh, $50 or 50 euros off if you do want to um, get one yourself. And I use the Aura Ring because it tracks my heart rate availability, my sleep, my exercise, my steps, all that kind of stuff, and I love it. The new um, version is just a band, so it doesn't have the big part on it, it just has the band, which is brilliant. <laughs> but it t allows you to know, so when you wake up in the morning, you can have a look at your app and see what your heart rate variability is. So if it's really low, then you know actually today's not the day to have a really big exercise. Today's not the day to have a really stressful day or take on some really stressful tasks. Today's the day to be kind to yourself, relax, eat well, get some extra sleep, those kind of things. On the alternate, so when you know your heart rate variability is high, you can say, wow, I can take on a big exercise today. So I know I can do, you know, something that is really strenuous. Um, I can take on tasks, I can do more, I can go out and I can see people. So that kind of stuff is great. Okay, a new study came out um, just recently about HRV and um, CRP. So HRV is our heart variability. CRP is C-reactive protein. It's a marker of inflammation. And it's a general marker. So it's a marker for any types of inflammation, whether it's from infections, trauma, low-grade inflammation, diet, lots, exercise, all sorts of things. It goes up. And in this study, they were testing to see if people's heart rate variability and their CRP could predict mortality. And these were in um, terminal pan pancreatic cancer patients, which obviously is not great and sad to hear about that. But one of the things that they found is some people who had high HRV, low CRP, so low inflammation, high variability, would have a higher, better score because they would take the HRV divided by the CRP and then we'd get a, a number, this kind of marker. Um, and what it does, it would predict the people who had the higher had a two times longer life. So it reduced mortality massively in these end stage pancreatic can cancer patients. Now that's not everybody obviously, but what that tells us is that if you have a high HRV and a low inflammation, you're going to have a better health outcome and you're going to have better health in general. So that applies to everybody. Um, the other thing I just wanted to say is that HRV helps us understand our nervous system. So the HRV is a, is a marker telling us of this autonomic nervous system, which is our um, fight or flight, which is our sympathetic and our rest and digest, which is our parasympathetic. And when the HRV is high, we know that we're not over sympathetic and we're not over parasympathetic because we want a balance of the two. So we need time to rest and digest and we need time to be able to be excited and do things and be active and energetic. So it's actually a marker telling us how our nervous system is functioning. So it's a great, great marker. You can see how your body is, how you're handling stress and 
with the ring, one of the things you can do is you can test all sorts of things on yourself and see what works for you. So you can test different foods, see how you react to them, whether your HRV changes. You can try different types of exercises, strength exercise, cardio exercise, relaxing exercise, and see how your HRV changes, how much sleep you get, whether you have go to bed earlier, later, and you can find these optimal things, how you react to stress. So if there's stress in your life with your partner, with your family, with something going on with work, and how you react, will it affect your HRV? So all these things, and you can see what all the factors are that will be a detriment to your health by using that, that type of thing, a ring or a heart rate variability um, uh, marker. So there's another one out there called Heart Math, which is great as well and you have a little finger, I just find that the ring is so much easier because you just wear it all the time and it's no problem, okay? So that's it, we're talking about heart rate variability being the, the space between your heartbeats and we wanna have a high heart rate variability because it's good for health, it means that we're adaptable and able to handle stress and all sorts of different things, okay? That's your Fact Friday for uh, Friday, July 6th.